torso compression garment, bodysuit, form 503. When performing measurements for the torso bodysuit compression garment, you will require the following tools. Job skin order, reorder form. Job skin data form, 503. Job skin pink measuring paper tape, if arm measurements are required. Job skin purple measuring paper tape, if leg measurements are required. Regular tape measure. Circumference tape. Measuring stand. Adhesive tape. Use the torso compression garment form 503 as a guide when measuring body lengths and circumferences. The following number instructions correspond to the numbers on this data form and are required for all styles of torso garments. Measure the patient in standing position. If the patient is unable to stand, lay them down on their side. Record each measurement on data form 503 as you take them. Measurement number one, left shoulder circumference. Ask the patient to place their hands on their waist using the regular tape measure. Bring the tape under the axilla. Curve it around, finishing on the acromion process as demonstrated. Repeat the same process for measurement number two, right shoulder circumference. Measurement number three. Neck circumference is taken at the center of the neck. Measurement number four, shoulder width. Take this measurement from the base of the neck to the actual point on the shoulder. Measurement number six, chest circumference is taken at axilla level. This measurement is taken for both male and female patients. Measurement number seven, using the circumference tape, measure the patient's waist circumference With each circumferential measurement, we suggest that you leave the circumference tape in place and proceed to measure the linear measurement that corresponds with it. All linear measurements are taken from the back of the patient. With a regular measuring tape, linear measurement number five, shoulder to waist, is taken from the top of center shoulder down to the bottom of the waist circumference tape as demonstrated. Move the circumference tape down to take measurement number 10, circumference of the largest part of the buttocks. Linear measurement number nine, shoulder to largest part of the buttocks is taken from the top of center shoulder down to the bottom of the circumference tape as demonstrated. Linear measurement number eight, shoulder to fold of the buttocks. This is a contour measurement. Start at the top of center shoulder and measure down to midsection of the body as demonstrated, taking care to follow the contour of the body and continue down to the gluteal fold of the buttocks. Lift the buttocks if necessary and tuck the tape high into the fold as shown. Take the left thigh circumference, measurement number 11, ensuring the tape is not angled. Repeat for the right thigh, measurement number 12. If bra cups are required, the following additional measurements will need to be taken. Using the circumference tape, measure the circumference directly under the breasts, measurement B, and leave tape in place. With a regular measuring tape, linear measurement A, shoulder to under the breasts is taken from the top of center shoulder to bottom of the circumference tape already in place. Using a regular measuring tape, take the circumference over the nipple line, measurement C. Record the patient's bra size on data form 503 if known. If sleeve measurements are required, please refer to the arm compression garment measuring video and measure as instructed. If leg measurements are required, please refer to the leg compression garment thigh length measuring video and measure as instructed. Ensure that all measurements have been recorded on Jobskin Data Form 503. We hope you have found the demonstration useful. 
If you require any additional information about measuring, modifications available, or completion of the data form to place your order, please contact our customer service team.